What's up, my peoples? It is your boy, AMG here. And today we are talking about season two, episode of 11 of Mob Psycho 100, titled Guidance Psychic Sensor. Now, boy, Mob is OP. He really is. I, Mob had people shaking in their boots. Like, it was ridiculous how powerful he is compared to everybody else. And him just learning that sometimes he has to be hard on people. And he can't just, you know, be nice because being nice all the time is not going to work all the time. With some people, you have to show force, you know, to get your point across. So he kind of, you know, came across that way. And he's like, I'm not very good at that type of thing. But he kind of developed that skill rather quickly because, in the you know, the men, in the midst of the situation. So that is just seeing Mob fight some of these guys. I was just loving it. How they were just scared. Like, he didn't really get into no huge, huge fights. Like, against the plant guy who's part of the Ultimate Five, he did a little, you know, little something, something. But he really didn't go off. And I'm just like, okay. But can we talk about the team? I I, I know you know what I'm gonna call them the Reagan Squad, the Reagan Squad, because him and his squad, his squad was tearing people up like that that uh, teleportation guy. They were he was, dude. That teleportation guy was scary. I'm not even gonna lie. He, he, he was wrecking all of them and come to find out he's kind of, he's not really a glass cannon, but really his powers is just evading, evading and speed because he can hit everybody else. If really, if he was at the speed of everybody else, pretty sure more than half them people who was in, you know, the seventh division of claw could beat them. Like, I'm pretty sure saw a whole bunch of the Reagan squad could beat him because he didn't really see uh, seem that overall powerful. It was just his speed mixed with his, his evasiveness that was getting him, you know, clean hits and where he wasn't getting no damage. So that makes perfect sense. And I just love the teamwork of the Reagan squad. When they started whooping on him and then back and forth and stuff. And I was just like, oh, snap. I was like, <laughs> I was, it just looked amazing. Now, I can say that Mob Psycho is known for having crude animation. And it kind of fits with, it kind of fits within, you know, the realm of the story and how it is. But there's a point where being crude can go too much. And it kind of, I don't know, the sauce was kind of laid thick in this episode, I guess you could say. Because it was really, really crude. Like, the animation was good and bad at times. And you're just like, okay. That, uh, I, I, that, I like the story. But some of the parts in this episode was just like, the how it looked was kind of undesirable. Now, I'm not saying it's bad at all. Or, you know, people can do better. But there's some parts where... Being a crude, having crude animation, and that's what you're using. And the, all the distortion of the animation and stuff is not really that good. But I do like how they were going from the camera angles to switching. Like, literally, it was like a first-person shooter. Where you literally are just seeing everything from everybody else's angle that he's fighting. And I, I, I really love that about this. Like, um, when they started doing the team attacks... You can see him going up in the air and then, you know, people coming down and hitting him. And then they're flashing over to the angle where the person is hitting him when at first you were kind of singing through their eyes. Then all the whip attacks and he's getting yanked back through buildings. And I was just like, there's fight sequences. The fight choreography was amazing. I can tell you that much. But I didn't really like the animation too much. It kind of bothered me a little bit. But I still love Mob Psycho. Now. Can we talk about Show? Show is actually pretty, he's pretty strong. Like, he's taking dudes out, like, he's taking out Ultimate Five members like it was nothing. And I'm like, so what's the hierarchy right now? So it's like, I guess you could say, who's top, top? We're going to say, 
the dad, and then it's mom, then maybe show, and then maybe the teleportation guy, or is the teleportation guy then show? But, dude, but show is pretty OP. Uh, now, before we get to the boss, I have to talk about Reagan. <laughs> Reagan, when he gave the teleportation dude that, uh, he gave him that. <laughs> he gave him that 64 trigrams <laughs> kind of like he gave him that 26 combo move that <laughs> Mortal Kombat I was like ooh okay Reagan what was that like and then he's getting more and lower because they're acting like they can't they think he's still an esper but he's really not he's just a regular human but since people don't you know can't detect him they're just like he must be super powerful. And then we know why the Seven Division thinks that way. is because he got Mob's powers back in Season 1 when they were fighting him. So they still think he's mega powerful as well. So it's kind of funny how the teleportation dude is like, Master? He was like, whoa, he's that powerful? And then Mob came out of nowhere and he felt his aura. He was like, how many people are there? Like, <laughs> do they have their own, like, their own division of, like, criminals and stuff? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> I, that was funny. And when Mob came up, and he's like, <laughs> the teleportation dude's like, I surrender. And he was like, what about world domination? He was like, I really didn't want world domination. I didn't really care about that. It was just as long as I had fun. And Mob was like, oh, so you interrupted people's lives? You were doing this just to have fun. And how Mob was standing over him, Boy, look, that intimidation that Mob has is scary, boy. Like, <laughs> if he got big muscular like the dudes in his uh, fitness group, and he had his power, boy, he'd be flexing on them dudes, bro. I like how he got so scared that the, the teleportation dude got so scared that he just left. He was like, nope, I'm gone. I'm not, mm -mm -mm. I'm not dealing with this. Bye. Now, the last part I we got to talk about is the dad. Show's dad. The leader of Scar. Claw. Whatever. It's Claw. Yeah, it's Claw, not Scar. Scar is a... Bro, what is with this man? This dude, every other time you see people who use their powers, they usually do some kind of hand movements or something, but he literally was majority of the time just standing there, like, just doing stuff. And I'm like... Can Ma beat this dude? Because he looks scary. Like, not even... I thought Ma was scary, but this dude is incredibly scary. Like, I don't understand how he's that powerful. And nobody knew about him having powers. And then, he said he went around the whole world and couldn't find anybody as powerful as him. That's scary. You mean to tell me you went around the whole world and fought people? And then come to find out this dude has a quirk that lets him store power like Sho has. And he's been storing power for 20 years. 20 years of power. And you're already that strong. And just wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's hold off for this for a second. He has 20 years of power. But when he was blocking all those hits and everything from show, he wasn't using it yet. Like, bro, what's going on here? <laughs> like, what kind of divine being is he? Because that's, no. And Mob has to fight him one-on-one? -on -one? Mm, that means Mob is going to go from OP to broken. There's no way because that dude is broken. So I'm hoping they it comes out good where it's Mob actually developing being able to beat him instead of them just doing an ass pull. Because this dude is so strong. He's in height that I don't know if Mob's at, but we never seen him at his height. So he could be higher than that. Who knows? But um, that is the end of the video. Like the video if you like the video. Comment down below if you have anything to say. Uh, subscribe because I do videos on One Piece, 
Mob Psycho, My Hero, Run With The Wind, and Shield Hero. Remember, my name is AMG, and anime, manga, gaming is all that. And I'm at it. Peace.